In my last devlog, I challenged myself to make 1 million robots, or else I would lose 100,000 robots. So I created a slash, a dash move, a destroyable block system, and designed all these modules for the game. During the next few weeks, I created a lot more power moves. So how did I create all these power up moves and other things? I wanted to work on my knight character's power moves and upgrade paths because I haven't made much progress in it. So I began adding some power up moves like a dash move. And by using align position and calculating the character's dash destination position, I applied force on the character. And then I created a module to create the dash particle effects on the character so that I could use it for client replication. And using the character's position value, I sent it to the module to tell where the dash particle effects should be emitted. I wanted to not only add movement power-ups, but also some strategic power-ups. So I implemented an invisibility power-up that allows players to hide their whole character from others. But just mobility abilities weren't enough. But you know what else is not enough? Well, over 90% of you guys aren't subscribed. And I often post content on my game developing progress and provide most of my game related help in the YouTube comments or my Discord because I want to create the biggest game with a lot of help from you guys and just some feedback. So if you could do me a favor, just click the subscribe button. Anyways, mostly my game is just all about action, so I wanted to add some offensive power moves. So I created this helicopter. <laughs> well, I was looking through the open sources in RoboVFX Discord channel to create a slash garage move, and I wanted the ability to have players rush across the map and slash countlessly. So I created an object-oriented programming module that created a connection on the rush and some basic methods like destroy to disable the rush connection. And using module scripts again, I inserted all the code to replicate the VFX on clients. Though I didn't add the client replication because there were some things I wanted to fix later. A few moments later, I got inspired by Virgil's a slice power move and created a script that spawned spikes across a certain range. And using a random object, I randomly generated positions a spike could spawn at a, within a certain range along the z-axis and the x-axis. And after doing some bug fixes, I adjusted the UI so that the stamina value popped up and keys for all the weapons appear. As I was about to make another weapon, I realized bruh, I had way too bruh, many power moves bruh, to create for this bruh, knight character. Bruh. And I realized I need to make some different aspects of the game so then I can build up the foundation of what the game is supposed to be. So I decided to create all these collectible objects which will be um, used to create items or weapons. And one of the things I wanted to create was a flammable potion. So I went back to Blender and modeled a potion to realize that my modeling skills died since I haven't touched Blender in so long. So I made this doo-doo potion and took some open source particle effects to render a flammable potion with explosion effects. I wanted to create a bounce to the potion because I thought it would be a fun feature for players to play with. So I researched how to make trajectories with beams and found a module that Eggmouse created. I analyzed the trajectory main module and realized it used deprecated raycast methods. So I attempted to replace it with new methods to confront millions of bugs. But impressed by the complexity of the code, I continued to try to fix it and analyze how each module worked with each other. So I sort of got it working after some bug fixes, but I couldn't easily change the velocity of the trajectory objects near unusual delays in the object and unusual pauses in the trajectory. Disappointed, I scrapped all the code and thought of using the Raycast module. And I spent a whole day researching it and implementing it into my potion weapon. And at first I was so confused huh? because there's like a large documentation on this module. So I came across a lot of different bugs. But after countless hours, I fixed the potion. And I created a burning system in my damage module, implemented client replication, and created an efficient fast cast script. But anyways, I was pretty tired from coding. So then I kind of took a break from there and I asked Jian Hyunhua, one of the Dante helpers, to review the progress in my game developing. So here's his feedback and my result. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of the moves. It looks so derpy. See, I'm like moving around. 
You can't even see stuff. Hey, I think you need to give it like a pose, honestly. Like a mid-air dash pose. R. Yeah. Or just a pull. I feel like I feel like the E mobility wise is really good though. The E is definitely very good for mobility. True. But the, dude, the animation is so garbage. Why does it do no damage? Oh Just no, me. some of the things don't do damage. Wait, try using the potion. Oh. Do I just- Oh. Yeah. That's not a potion, that's a bomb. Oh, this is a sword slash. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> damage. I'm trying to throw the bomb, it won't work. Oh wait, there's an oh. error on your side. No! Oh. Why is there an error? <laughs> they got too many times. When we try resetting yourself, I think you'll fix it. Oh no, I have another bug. No, 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 this is a duel. This is a duel. I died. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so many errors. Oh my gosh. It's lagging so hard. Oh wow. Wait, which one? Wait, how are you flying that hard? What the? Oh shoot, I burned you. Is invisible really like necessary? Um, I don't know, I just added I because can... it might be cool. Is your game gonna like involve PvP? Because I feel like that's the only place where it would be useful. My game is like gonna be kind of like Fortnite, but respawning. People just beat up each other, try to steal everyone's loot. I mean, that's be like a goal though. It'd be like a raid type game. Be like, like you fight each other, but then, like, occasionally a raid boss will show up and they all fight that and they go back to fighting each other. I mean, think of it's this like, like this. It's Sword Art Online. Yeah, so Except it's like... Except you want to become Giga Chad. As of right now, all you have to do is just add damage to uh, the Q and the F attack. And the mobility is definitely really good. That's actually a really good one. From, I haven't actually seen most games with that kind of mobility. It's actually but my only suggestion would you could try focusing on the combat aspect of this game. The sword effect, sword slash, definitely very cool. Uh, definitely needs a bit more variation though, but it's definitely very clean. You could invert it or like rotate it and that would create like a downward slash, upper slash, that would be really nice. Invisibility, I don't find it that useful, but it might have its use. The bomb, the bomb's kind of laggy, you might want to work on that for like lower lower processing computers otherwise it's gonna look kind of funky because my laptop sucks the e oh e, e is definitely my favorite one a q q is kind of funky the skill effect is great but it looks so it looks so funky, honestly if you're literally just lying on the floor and there's just slashes like i don't even know how to and f f is definitely my second favorite you can aim it but i feel like the aiming is kind of wonky and also at the virgil attack Add more Virgil attacks. You can never have too many Virgil attacks. Follow me at Jin Hun Hua. And then you type in my, if you can, just copy and paste my Chinese, my, my Chinese name for it. And my Twitter at, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. I post art. I'm also yeah, probably going to be the one. <laughs> I'm also probably going to be the one that draws the thumbnail for Matthew. Probably though, because there's yeah. just so much to this game. I'm just like, bro, I can't even do this solo dev. Like, I was yeah. going to, but like, I, I hey, definitely hey, get a I suck. Listen, listen, man, I suck at coding, but I can at least draw the thumbnails. And uh, if you want to commission me, oh, also follow me on Reddit. Also follow me on Reddit. So from all this progression I made into my game, probably I'll create like an inventory system and a combat system with combos. But other than that, feel free to click the game in the description. Um, you guys can test it, criticize it, and I definitely would love feedback because I want to really make this game pop out as much as possible and make it big in Roblox. So you can just join my Discord. There's like a feedback channel and you can just type whatever gibberish. Thanks for watching.